Tetrachromacy is the condition of possessing four independent channels for conveying color information, or possessing four different types of cone cells in the eye. Organisms with tetrachromacy are called tetrachromats. In tetrachromatic organisms, the sensory color space is four-dimensional, meaning that to match the sensory effect of arbitrarily chosen spectra of light within their visible spectrum requires mixtures of at least four different primary colors. Tetrachromacy is demonstrated among several species of birds, fish, amphibians, reptiles and insects. It was also the normal condition of most mammals in the past. A genetic change made the majority of species of this class eventually lose two of their four cones. Physiology The normal explanation of tetrachromacy is that the organism's retina contains four types of higher intensity light receptors with different absorption spectra. This means the animal may see wavelengths beyond those of a typical human being's eyesight, and may be able to distinguish colors that to a human appear to be identical. Species with tetrachromatic color vision have a small physiological advantage over rival species. Examples, fish, the goldfish and zebrafish are examples of tetrachromats, containing cone cells sensitive for red, green, blue and ultraviolet light. Birds, some species of birds such as the zebra finch and the columbidae use the ultraviolet wavelength specific to tetrachromatic color vision as a tool during mate selection and foraging. When selecting for mates, ultraviolet plumage and skin coloration show a high level of selection. A typical bird eye will respond to wavelengths from about 300 to 700 nm. In terms of frequency, this corresponds to a band in the vicinity of 430 Euro 1000 THZ. Bird a Euro 1 registered trademark SIs are tetrachromats but their cone cells inside the retina are much more complex than humans. First, they contain a colored oil droplet and this droplet is placed before the visual pigment, which means the light is filtered before it reaches it. Also, the oil droplets can be transparent or colored. Furthermore, instead of having single cones, birds have also double cones just like fish, amphibians and reptiles that contain the four-color pigment. Another big difference between the tetrachromacy vision of humans and birds lies in the retina. The fovea which is the area of the retina responsible for the precise vision of the details and where there is a big concentration of cones, form a lateral strip rather than a central area. Added to the fact that some birds can have two or even more for V, birds have a lot more cones than humans and it explains why they see colors better than us. Finally, birds have photopigments that are sensitive to four or five peak wavelengths, which explains why they are a lot more sensitive to colors than us and why it is impossible for us to perceive colors like them. Insects, foraging insects can see wavelengths that flowers reflect. Pollination being a mutualistic relationship, foraging insects and plants have co-evolved, both increasing wavelength range, in perception, in reflection and variation. Directional selection has led plants to display increasingly diverse amounts of color variations extending into the ultraviolet color scale, thus attracting higher levels of pollinators. Some pollinators may use tetrachromatic color vision to increase and maintain a higher foraging success rate over their trichromatic competitors. Possibility of human tetrachromats Humans and closely related primates normally have three types of cone cells and are therefore trichromats. However, at low light intensities the rod cells may contribute to color vision, giving a small region of tetrachromacy in the color space. In humans, two cone cell pigment genes are located on the sex X chromosome, the classical type 2 opsin genes OPN1MW and OPN1MW2. It has been suggested that as women have two different X chromosomes in their cells, some of them could be carrying some variant cone cell pigments, thereby possibly being born as full tetrachromats and having four different simultaneously functioning kinds of cone cells, each type with a specific pattern of responsiveness to different wavelengths of light in the range of the visible spectrum. One study suggested that to a euro 3% of the world's women might have the kind of fourth cone that lies between the standard red and green cones, giving, theoretically, a significant increase in color differentiation. 
Another study suggests that as many as 50% of women and 8% of men may have four photopigments and corresponding increased chromatic discrimination in comparison to trichromats. In June 2012, after 20 years of study of women with four cones, neuroscientist Dr. Gabrielle Jordan identified a woman who was able to detect a greater variety of colors than trichromatic ones, corresponding with a functional tetrachromat. Variation in cone pigment genes is widespread in most human populations, but the most prevalent and pronounced tetrachromacy would derive from female carriers of major red-green pigment anomalies, usually classed as forms of color blindness. The biological basis for this phenomenon is X inactivation of heterozygotic alleles for retinal pigment genes, which is the same mechanism that gives the majority of female New World monkeys trichromatic vision. In humans, Preliminary visual processing occurs within the neurons of the retina. It is not known how these nerves would respond to a new color channel, that is, whether they could handle it separately or just combine it in with an existing channel. Visual information leaves the eye by way of the optic nerve. It is not known whether the optic nerve has the spare capacity to handle a new color channel. A variety of final image processing takes place in the brain. It is not known how the various areas of the brain would respond if presented with a new color channel. Mice, which normally have only two cone pigments, can be engineered to express a third cone pigment, and appear to demonstrate increased chromatic discrimination, arguing against some of these obstacles. However, the original publication's claims about plasticity in the optic nerve have also been disputed. Humans cannot perceive UV light directly because the lens of the eye blocks most light in the wavelength range of 300 a euro 400 a nm. Shorter wavelengths are blocked by the cornea. Nevertheless, the photoreceptors of the retina are sensitive to near UV light and people lacking a lens perceive near UV light as whitish blue or whitish violet, probably because all three types of cones are roughly equally sensitive to UV light, but blue cones a bit more. See also RGBY, monochromacy, dichromacy, trichromacy, pentachromacy, evolution of color vision, J. Nareets, somatosensory amplification, super taster, references. External links, the Human Tetrachromacy Research Collaborative, Timothy H. What Birds See Scientific American July 2006. An article about the tetrachromatic vision of birds, Thompson, Evan. Comparative Color Vision, Quality Space and Visual Ecology. In Stephen Davis, Color Perception, Philosophical, Psychological, Artistic and Computational Perspectives, PPA 163 Euro 186. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Looking for Madame Tetrachromat by Glenn Zopet. Red Herring Magazine, November 1, 2000, Exploring the Fourth Dimension. University of Bristol School of Biological Sciences. March 20, 2009. Colors, The Perfect Yellow by Radiolab, May 21, 2012. The Dimensionality of Color Vision in Carriers of Anomalous Trichromacy, Gabrielle Jordan A.L., Journal of Vision August 12, 2010. Murphy, Cheryl Well R.B. B.C.'s UV Tetrachromatic Vision in Bees, on Tetrachromacy at GNES Holber and B. Lucas C.S.